going on you guys? Today we're learning the song Feathered Indians by Tyler Childers. Now real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. Our capo is going to be on our fifth fret. We're going to start with the D major chord. To play a D major chord, we're going to place our first finger on the second fret of the G string. Our third finger is then going to be placed on the third fret of the B string, and our middle finger on the second fret of the high E. That's how you play a D major chord. We're going to go through all of the chords of the song first, and then I'll show you kind of the embellishments and the strumming patterns. So we're going from this D to then an A major chord. The A major chord you're gonna play by placing your first finger across the D, the G, and the B strings on the second fret. So your first finger is going to be on the second fret of the D, the G, and the B, barring. Okay? Third chord and final chord for the verses and the intro and the instrumentals of the song, so a good chunk of the song, is a G major chord. To play a G major chord, we're going to place our middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, our first finger on the second fret of the A, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and our pinky finger on the third fret of the high E. Cool? So we have those three chords. And honestly, for the G, for what we're going to be doing, I'm just going to put my third finger on the third fret of the high E string and take it off of the B string so I can use my pinky finger. So then talking about embellishments, we're going to start by taking our first finger up off of the G string, so then we're going to pick the D and the G strings together and hammer onto the second fret. Then we're going to strum, okay? And then we're going to do an up strum. Like that. Do that with me. Then right there we're going to do another down strum, this time hammering onto the 4th fret of the G string. Okay? Then right there we're going to strum downwards again on just the normal D chord. And then an up strum, down, and then you pull off. So we have this. Okay? Okay, and then we have another up strum to the A major chord. Okay, so I'm gonna do that slowly. Okay, do that with me. And that's also kind of a hammer on once we get to the A chord. And then an up strum. Okay, and then down, and then what we do there is we're gonna hammer on to the fourth fret of the D string. So we have this so far. Drum down on the A major chord. Up, down, up, and we pull off of the A there. So then when we get to the G, we have the up strum to the down on the root note, and then a down strum, then an up strum. Okay, so we have this like. Do that with me. And then right there, we're gonna take our first finger down to the second fret of the D string, and we're going to pick that downwards. Okay, so we have this. And then we're gonna pull it off. And then we're gonna strum down again on that second fret of the D string. And then right there, we're gonna hammer onto the fourth fret of the D. And then right there, we're gonna have a down, up, down, and then you pull off. Like that. And then you do that twice for the G major chord. And then you have a down up at the end of it, and then the whole thing starts over. To the verse. The verse is pretty simple, simple and similar. You have the same chords. It's just D A G G. And the strumming pattern is a down down up down up 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 and that doesn't change. You have down down up down up 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 down down. And 
that gets us into the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is going to start on an A7 chord. To play an A7 chord, we're going to put our middle finger on the second fret of the D string and our third finger on the second fret of the B string. To a G. So A7, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, G, I. You do that four times, and then we get into the chorus. So let's do the pre-chorus together. It'll sound like this. gets us into the chorus. The chorus starts with the B minor chord. To play a B minor chord, we're going to place our first finger on the second fret of the A string. Our third finger is then going to be placed on the fourth fret of the D, our pinky on the fourth fret of the G, and our middle finger on the third fret of the B. We go from that chord to an A major chord to a G major chord. It's really going to be a root down, root down, then full strumming pattern. After you do that twice, we then go to an A7, again, and then we go to the G major chord, and this time we just strum this downward four times. So the entire chorus will sound like this. and so on and so forth. And that is how you play Feathered Indians. If you have a song request, please comment it. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit that bell. I sincerely hope that you are well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching. Logan's Lessons.